Welcome back to Brisket Medic. This week's episode, guys, we're gonna be cooking pizza, just a frozen pizza, on our char griller acorn grill. First things first, let's get the grill set up. As we set up our grill, we're gonna be shaking down any ashes from our last cook, and we see that we have plenty of charcoal and wood left over from it to reuse for this cook. And that's the one thing I absolutely adore about this cooker is its fuel efficiency. It's pretty amazing. Inside of here, we've got B&B lump charcoal. We've got a couple of lumps of, of pecan in there. And all we're gonna do is take our uh, fire cup, place it in that ashtray underneath that uh, grate there. So it has about two inches of flame room for that uh, fire cup to ignite our coals efficiently. Now fire cups does make a cage for this to make it easier, but I figure if it works like this, it works like this. And while we're doing that, let's see how we're gonna set up our smoker. We're gonna put our heat deflection plate and then our grates back in it. Now our pizza isn't gonna go straight on those grates. It's gonna go on a pizza pan that we oil down with just a little bit of cooking spray. Let's talk about this diffuser stone for just a second. The reason we're using this diffuser stone instead of just a pizza stone on top of the grates is because that diffuser stone actually causes convection in this Kamado style cooker. And that's really ideal for pizza. The reason is instead of all that direct heat coming straight up from the bottom and cooking the bottom of that pizza just really, really harshly, it's allowing convectional heat to come around that pizza and cook it from all sides, bottom, sides, top, and that's how you're gonna get a good even finish on your pizza without burning your crust or without burning the top. Everything's just perfectly cooked all the way through. And that's the end goal. Now to dial in our temps, we've let this burn for about 15 to 20 minutes. I've got everything fully open, the bottom and the top. And we're just gonna shut that down evenly on top and bottom a little bit at a time and let it ride for 10 to 15 minutes. It's probably gonna take about 30 to 45 minutes to get this thing dialed in at the 500 to 550 degrees that we really want it, but it's gonna be worth it because this pizza is gonna cook very, very evenly. And I don't wanna burn supper. All right, folks, this thing's coming up to temp pretty quick. Um, we're already right around 400 degrees, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut my top and bottom down halfway and uh, prepare the pizza on the pan. Just hit it with a little grill spray. This is high temp grilling spray. See there, grilling one. And we're gonna break out our pizza, throw it on there. I think just out of time restraints, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on there at 400 degrees and let it continue to climb up to 500 degrees just so we can get this done and get the kids fed. It's kind of late. We're supposed to cook these Red Baron pizzas at 400 degrees anyways. So why not? It says it takes about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. I'm hoping if we start it at 400 degrees and put it on there and crank it up to 500 to 550, it'll be done in about 12 to 15 minutes. Supreme pizza, frozen on our greased pizza pan. Just throw it on the fire. Always burp your fire, folks. Again, that smoke will clear out as those flames start burning a little bit more clean as we gain temp. Check that out. I had the top down halfway, but I think I'm going to open it all the way and just adjust the bottom vent for this because thinking about it, pizza ovens just have a exhaust that's all the way open all the time. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna close the bottom off halfway, leave this all the way up. Fifteen minutes later. Yeah, I think we're done. Not too bad, folks. Not too bad, especially for my first time. Give this a taste. All right, not a bad quick pizza at home, wood-fired pizza flavor. Um, let's see how it tastes. Um, it, it got a little dark on the edges, 
um, but I'm not upset with it, especially for the first time figuring this Kamado out for pizza. Pretty impressed. Let's take a bite. Mm. Awesome wood fire flavor. Awesome. Wow. I think I'm gonna add some Uncle Steve's Gator Shake on top. Go inside and enjoy it with the family. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, guys. I wanna appreciate everybody who is faithful to the channel. We really appreciate you liking and subscribing. If you could do that right now, go ahead and do that. This is free content that I provide for you, and I hope it helps you out. We love you. Drink more water. Mm -hmm.